Open Gates is a special needs ministry here at the church. Um, we want to uh, love on kids for, for Christ and um, encourage them in their walks with Him. Um, it's important because these families, out of all families, they need to be encouraged and they need to have community. It shouldn't be because of their child's disability they can't participate in a church. That shouldn't be the case. We should be the place, out of all places, that says, yes, we want you here. You're welcome here. I'm Lauren Perkins. And I'm David Perkins. And we've been going to Faith Bridge since this summer. Our family, we have uh, four and a half year old sex tuplets, three boys and three girls one of which has special needs. They just moved to the area and wanted to sign the kids up for our VBS. I signed up the five kids, and then when they called to make sure, I really had five kids born on the same day. <laughs> and I said, um, I do, and I have a sixth one, but she has special needs, so I didn't sign her up. One of our staff members got in touch with me, and I ended up calling her and saying, hey, we have a place for Leah. We want her here. We want her to come to VBS just along with her siblings and be in their same little group and participate in the activities. And that's when Rhonda came into the picture, and she was a new shadow at the time. A shadow is an Open Gates volunteer designated for one child. Courtney told me all about her and she said, I think you're going to be a perfect match. So I was a little nervous, not knowing what to expect. That was my first encounter with the Perkins. And that was when I met Leah, who I shadow every Sunday now. And I fell in love with her the first evening that I met her. Little Leah has uh, bonded so much with, with Rhonda and um, the whole Perkins family adores her. If anything she knows that's going on with Leah, doctor's appointments or any decisions we're making, she'll text me, just let me know she's been praying for her and what's, what's going on, she wants an update. She's not only taken Leah under her wing, it's all the kids, it's all six of them together. She gets them involved in reading stories. If she's reading to Leah, she'll get everybody around her to read with her too. Rhonda is what made us decide to commit to going to Faith Bridge. When she said that um, she's gotten really connected to Leah and she has a relationship with Leah that she wants to, you know, keep pursuing and strengthening. That was what made us said Faith Bridge is, is our home and Rhonda was what made us finally decide to commit to Faith Bridge. We want parents to be able to go to service worry-free. We just want them to be able to focus and be filled. We don't want them to be concerned that their child is being neglected. We want them to know that they are being cared for and they are being loved and they are being included. That is what we're all about. Inclusion, inclusion, inclusion. And as much as possible, as often as possible, we want them to be included with their with their peers. When we walk in, it volunteers and the staff all, you know, say hi to them and know their names and give them hugs. Inclusion is not just a thing that just kids ministry does. Our church as a whole has a heart for inclusion. We have the privilege of telling people of all abilities how deeply they are loved by God. I'd like to invite each one of you to come on Sunday, January 15th and hear more about what God is doing in Open Gates. Come and find out how God can use you and your gifts to impact His kingdom further.